Okay, so let's do a hard reset for this Orbic Wonder smartphone from Verizon Prepaid or Verizon Wireless. First, the phone must be powered off and remove any external memory card and to save some files on this phone. Okay, everything is going to be deleted, such as pictures, videos, contacts, email addresses, downloaded applications, and web history, and so on. Okay, so just uh, so you know that it's a factory reset with external memory card. And it is to remove any password, pattern, or PIN blocking the screen of the phone in case you forgot these credentials. And also, if, if your screen is blocked with Google, then these uh, steps you want to remove Google. But after the factor reset, you need to confirm or verify uh, email and password from Google account in order to proceed and get to the home screen. Okay, if you fail, if you fail to confirm Google, you won't be able to use your phone and until you are able to confirm or verify with the account so uh, please make sure that you have that information if you have your email addresses uh, email address i mean you can go and reset your password in case i forgot your password okay with the phone power off you're gonna press volume up and power key and as soon as the orbit logo appears you're gonna release both keys and uh, after five seconds, you want to see a recovery menu from on the screen, and then you're gonna go from there. Okay, All right. So volume up and power key. Vibrates. Orbit logo appears. Release both keys. There you go. So now using uh, volume down, you wanna scroll and highlight wipe data factory reset. Okay, using power key is going to be or enter OK. And next step is to confirm that we already went through that everything is going to be deleted on the phone's memory. And if you are ready and agree with this, just uh, press the power key. And the phone, you're going to show wiping data, formatting data. And the last step is uh, automatically reboot system. Now is highlighted, so just press the power key to reboot the phone okay and here um, the factor reset with external buttons has been done okay so here is going to take a few minutes some five to six minutes for the phone to take us to the initial setup screen where we actually can register the language and continue with the steps until you're going to get to the home screen Okay, so just a few suggestions here. In case that the Orbit logo gets stuck there for more than six minutes, that means that something is wrong with the phone, or mod I mean the motherboard. So you can power off the screen by pre long pressing for 10 seconds the power key, and then start over again with the same process using volume up and power key as we did at the beginning of the video. You can do the hard reset until like eight times if possible uh, until we're gonna get to the initial setup screen in case that you struggle to get there and also um, if you in case that you are using the phone and the phone just power off itself even with the battery it's uh, properly charged you may experience uh, motherboard issues there so just uh, so you know and doing this process with external um, buttons had to factory reset 95% uh, of the cases uh, your phone will improve so in case that that is your issue or you experience drop calls a lot of drop calls also this process helps a lot but make sure that you know your email and password associated with the phone and also that you previously have done a backup with you or your information like pictures, videos, contacts on your Google account. So after the factory reset, you can just um, retrieve all the information with your Google account. All right, so we are on the home screen, initial setup screen, in case that you need a factory reset or just you bought this phone for the first time as a new phone, then you want to get to this uh, screen. Okay, so just uh, so your, for your information, these are the languages that you can use on this phone. Okay, these are the languages. And just uh, 
I'm gonna show you this in case that you are uh, looking to buy this phone and see what languages it has or it comes with and so you can use it okay so okay so now let's go and stay with English and then hit the let's go button and since uh, there is no SIM card on this phone, you want to see this image. Hit the next button, hit the next. Okay, now the first option copy the data. If you want to keep your current email from Google, uh, you select the first option. Second option, set up some new phone. You create a new Google account. Okay, so don't use any network. Um, if you don't want to use any internet it's okay to continue without internet and in case that you have a sim card uh, inserted on this phone uh, it won't let you continue uh, without the internet connection so um, if you want to continue without internet connection just remove the sim card okay in order to let you continue like this in the video okay so first option here is select your time zone so select time zone and then date uh, to switch the month just go to the arrow and then select the date and hit ok and time this is your hour uh, minutes and just hit am or pm and hit ok when you have you have your right time and then hit the next button Okay, create a, a nickname for your phone in case that you lost your phone and after many attempts the person that found the phone um, they uh, guess your lock screen like password, pattern or pin and after many attempts Google will consider that the phone has been compromised so they're going to ask them to verify a nickname and if they fail to confirm or verify a nickname they won't be able to use your phone and they won't be able to access to your personal information such as for your sa safety um, select <clears throat> excuse me select a um, nickname okay next day protect your phone with a lock screen with pattern pin or password you can go ahead and select one of these or you just can choose not now because you can um, do lock your screen from settings so Google services um, I recommend you to use leave this one on so anything that you go to Google search engine the first option um, anything that you search the first results you want to get on your phone's location the most close addresses improve location accuracy that's a, is there any Wi-Fi available for your phone you can use it so you can save your package data from your carrier so just leave that one on send system data any updates for your Android you want to get notifications so you can have your motherboard or Android up to date okay so just hit I agree Okay, now you have the option to set a new another email address from Google a gmail address account so you can touch here and you can uh, go and create a new account uh, review additional apps so we need a connection data connection in order to go and review any other applications all set my Verizon option it's uh, you can go there and manage your account um, maybe you can purchase minutes or you can add a phone or you can ch change your rate plan and iCloud I, I mean uh, Verizon Cloud this option helps you to um, actually get track of your phone you can log into this account and actually check where your phone is located and also um, in case I lost your phone or somebody stole the phone then you can go to your account and just block the phone immediately or even delete all your information or personal data uh, on your phone okay so they won't be able to access to your important information so yeah just uh, create a iCloud account and register you already have an account with Verizon okay and just hit uh, got it to continue and get to the home screen of this um, Orbic Wonder smartphone from Verizon Wireless okay uh, thanks so much for choosing my video any other questions let me know in comments and please subscribe to 
your or to my channel so you can you can have access to my tutorials in the future in case that you need any other help in the, on the road and uh, find, find my other tutorials related to this model such as uh, keyboard issue or telequack issue or just uh, any information that you need on this one and technical support okay thanks so much hit the like button and please subscribe